from hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and today I've got another three titles to review. We're going to be reviewing Harry Potter Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital copy for Deathly Hallows Part 2, a Lifetime movie, Magic Behind Words, the J.K. Rowling story, and from the History Channel, How the States Got Their Shapes Season 1. Let's start with Harry. I think we can all agree this was a very satisfying finish to the series, very emotional because you know it's the last time you're going to see these characters. And I just really love the way it came together. I loved the story. And now finally getting to see it in a high definition version, um, it was really, really, really exciting. I just loved the fight sequences. I think my only complaint was that we couldn't see more of this huge cast of characters. You had a lot of people come in for kind of one line when there's just so many throughout the series and they couldn't all get their final bow. Definitely get this version of the movie. Why? Because it has maximum movie mode, my favorite like Blu-ray feature ever. It's great. It's actually hosted by the actor who plays Neville, but a lot of characters come in. The actress who plays Ginny, the actor who plays um, Draco's father, just lots of different uh, actors come in to give their viewpoint. You have people coming in reading excerpts from the book. All the deleted scenes, those are added into the movie and it has a little thing come up that says deleted scenes so you know you're getting something extra. It has nine in-depth featurettes. Very cool. Your movie on this Blu-ray disc, you've got special features on this Blu-ray disc and then here's the DVD. The special features on the second disc are a conversation with um, Harry and the author. So you've got Daniel Radcliffe and J.K. Rowling sitting down together and that featurette's almost an hour long and all of it is very interesting, relevant uh, conversation. It's a lot of conversation they've had off camera before and they rehash some of it on camera for us like talking about the casting process, interpreting different characters through the series and it's very, very cool what fame has done to both of them. And I never realized before how hyper Daniel Radcliffe is. He even says that he never has caffeine because he's just so hyper. And I believe it. He has energy. He's like talking like this the whole time. Blah, 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 blah. For other special features, you also get the Goblins of Gringotts, which is a really cool sequence where they show the casting of all the... Um, the small people that they brought in and how they designed the makeup and how they kept retouching it and making each one different and you get to see the actor who played one of the Oompa Loompas in the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. There's a whole feature on the women of Harry Potter and how strong they are and why she, J.K. Rowling created them that way and the actresses speak about their characters. That's a really cool sequence too. And also you get a really short uh, Warner Brothers Studio Tour London. It's a commercial for a new attraction that they're opening up. And also there's a Pottermore preview, which is the new website that J.K. Rowling has started. All awesome stuff must have. The next movie is the Lifetime movie about J.K. Rowling's life. I have to admit, I was really excited because I'm like, I'm going to find out all this background information about this author who is so famous now. But um, it's also a Lifetime movie, so some things are a little bit embellished. I uh, did some like Wikipedia reading and some reading on the author's own website afterwards to try and sort out the truth from the uh, exaggeration. Altogether, I think it's very well done. It gives you some insight on how she grew up. She's very much like Hermione when she grows up. She had a best friend who used some qualities to create the character Ron. The thing that made me really roll my eyes is talking to her best friend. She's like, you're such a Weasley kind of guy. I'm like, really? Really? You had to go there? It's already obvious he's a ginger. You know, she didn't have an easy, easy life. You know, she was really trying to figure out what she wanted to do. She was always into books. She always wanted to write. Being a single mom was a very difficult life. She had trouble finding a job. It's kind of a fascinating story. It's not a very long movie, only 90 minutes. There are no extras, and the star of the movie is Poppy Mount Montgomery, and she's ridiculously pretty. She looks like a model. And J.K. Rowling herself is also very pretty, but she's always talked about how she grew up plain and how that really affected her writing and her writing strong female characters. And I thought it was maybe a tiny bit of a disservice to her to pick someone who looked like a Barbie doll to play her. Finally, we have How the States Got Their Shapes Season 1. The host is Brian Unger, who's a journalist and a former Daily Show correspondent. He's kind of a funny guy, and he likes to poke fun at people who don't know how to draw states. There is a lot of interesting information here, like you get to find out 
why Michigan and Ohio hate each other so much when football season comes around. It all goes back to fighting over Toledo. And Tennessee-Georgia boundaries are in dispute because of need for water. Water plays a big deal in how the states were designed. And uh, California uses way more of the Colorado River than anyone else uses, like, in the entire country. I mean, they use so much water every year, you could cover New Jersey in a foot of water. It's kind of cool figuring out why, in the beginning, you've got so many squiggly lines on the east side of the states as states were being formed. And then when you go out west, you notice there's all these boxy, straight line things. Well, it's all about... First, rivers were very important. Every state wanted to have water and be on a river, so that's all the squiggly lines. And then when you moved out west, that wasn't as important because you moved on to things like trains. That's a fascinating trivia. I think this is really cool. I don't know if it necessarily has to be seven hours plus extras long. The biggest extra would be the bonus disc, which has a feature-length history special, How the States Got Their Shapes which I suspect was the very first thing they did when they had this idea to tell this story. This is a 90 minute feature and it gives you a taste of everything. It gives you a lot of knowledge and it's kind of a big summary of the entire series. The joke never seems to get old when something actually shares a boundary. Like there's a library that's in Canada and the USA and it actually has a dotted line across the floor and you can just walk back and forth, but because customs has gotten so tight since September 11th, you have to go back to the country that you came from. You can't go in on the U.S. side and sneak into the Canada side because customs will find you. So there's lots of jokes like, you know, at a bar, like, I drank my beer in this state, and then this state's a dry state, so I have to leave it here on the counter to go to the restroom because there's a boundary here. It is kind of funny and interesting for people who are really curious about this stuff. But definitely, the best thing this week has to be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It is an amazing feat in storytelling, the end of a fabulous series, and it just really makes you want to pick up the first movie again and just watch them all back to back or reread the entire series. Thank you for watching my review, and I hope you'll join me again next time for another movie, Blu-ray, or DVD review. Bye! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. So you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.